Hey everyone, welcome back. So let's go ahead and get straight to it. So we're back over here at the Mark of Samoth. We need to finish clearing some of this. So we have a silver chest right here. Let's go grab that. The first floor should be in good shape. There shouldn't be much left up here, I'm hoping, so that we can move on to the next area. This place is just slap full of copper though. So like, again, if you need copper, just come here. It's everywhere. Almost, it seems like almost every wall has copper on it. We do need to go down into the bigger caves below us still. I think we cleared all the ones up here already. Let's go check. I, I didn't leave the game, but I did go FK for a little bit. All the mobs are spawning back in now. I guess the chests are spawning loot back in yet. I did go through that cave. I want to say it brought us back out on the lower level. We already went across. Well, we didn't go across the top on the far side. So let's try to get up there. Like, we'll go ahead and go through this cavern per part right here. I don't know why I was about to say person. Let's see, tons and tons of copper ore. I mean, if you need, if we need a bunch of copper, we'll definitely set us up a teleport on this side to get it from here, most likely. Almost looks like a hole in the ground. And if it's there, we'll go inside this cave. Again, just walls upon walls of copper. <laughs> we'll definitely want a better pickaxe if we're gonna try to mine all that. The scrappy pickaxe just really isn't getting it done. So far, it looks like we only missed that one chest and whatever the quest is. Okay, we have a bunch of traps right here in front of us. Let's go this way for a second. Of course, it's nighttime every time I want to do something. So you have a puppy dog. Oh, wait, where did he come from? And this should just take us back to where we just went, where we found all the amber. So let's go up here, go through the traps, and then I think all we have left is to drop down and go through that one cave that leads to the finishing the quest. So we're gonna dodge these traps on the ground right here. They look like bombs, so we gotta be quick. Kind of a vicious little trap. I, mean, I can't see anything. Hope I'm not missing something. See something green down there? Might be one of those mushroom guys. Oh, there's a path here? Maybe this is another path to get into this place. So you can work away from top to bottom. That's what it's looking like. Unless it's leading to one of the other quests. It might be leading over here to one of these other quest areas too. Alright, so let's go back inside. We'll finish this quest like I said. And then we'll head down. What is this silver glow? This shroud? Now we're back down here at the bottom. Let's make our way into this main cave. Seems like the quest will be below us still somewhere. We got a lot of traps everywhere, so watch out for those. Got a couple enemies in front. Uh -oh. Why did it destroy the fire thing? Let's see, we've got ledges above us. We do have some lore and a place to repair in here, so let's go read the note. We have dug too far. All right, looks like they got rid of good old Samoth. He's too greedy, too addicted to the elixir. So we can go left and we can go right. This is a rubble pile. Usually that's pretty quick, so let's go ahead and dig through it. I mean, you know what? I have bombs. Let's just see. I don't know what that is behind us, though, but we do have bombs. Let's just use a bomb. The place to repair at, and what is this? A crucible? Ah, uh, we got a crucible. Take helmet plus eleven more. We can finally make some new armor, guys. I know what we're doing on the on the next episode if we don't do it at the end of this one. Crucible needed for spelter. All items repaired. We can finally make the spelter. That makes my day. Super happy now. I'm glad we came this way to do this quest. Glad I came back here because I was gonna move on and go to do the other quests. You armor finally. Now we can quit getting destroyed every time we turn around. All right, let's check this other path. Now that I'm all hyped up and ready. So we can go left and right. Wouldn't this just be taking us right back to our crystal room? I know they usually have multiple paths. Oh no, it just takes us to some copper. Maybe if you mine all the copper, you can get into there. <laughs> I tried that with bombs and I tried it with pickaxe. We're not, we are not gonna mine through a whole vein of copper. That stuff takes forever. Right, some enemies inside here. One chest with some bombs in it, a couple of shelves floating around. Do you think they made this this mine big enough? They definitely put a lot of detail into it, that's for sure. Uh, 
I don't see anything above us in this room just yet, but I'm trying to keep an eye out. Again, if I miss anything, I'm sure people will let me know. I don't like the fact we have double jump now because every time I jump, it pops up like a brief message saying that you can double jump, and then it makes me want to press a button. Now, of course, I walked in the trap looking around. Okay, let's go down this hallway. Hopefully, we're about to the end of this place. Wait, location's still below me. I feel like we've done everything we can do here. Let's check the quest really quick, see if it's still active or if we finished it. See, Hunter Spindle, Fireplace of the Farmer. Yeah, the quest isn't here anymore, so we've, we must be done with it. It must have just been to get the Crucible and explore this place. Okay, let's pull the map up. Let's see, record time's looking pretty good. We should have time to at least get to the Obelisk, if not these two down here. These two are going to be in the Shroud. Let's go ahead and mark this. And we're going to probably take that path back around and down the mountain. Okay, right, we're still on the way there. I took the high ledge, but I I was easing them back towards the road because of the walls. And it looks like there's some undead in a crypt or something right here. So let's check this out really quick. At least I know I saw a guy glowing green down there. There he is. Did we double jump? Did we get more damage? Alright, let's find our way into this place. And sorry if my voice changes video to video, guys. I've been getting kind of sick under the weather. Those guys are down. Hopefully this is just a small little place. I don't know if there's any treasure in here or not. Oh, there's one chest right here in the center. Chain heal and a greater mana potion, it looked like. And I think that's going to be it. This tower looks like it's going to be too... Oh, there's a floor in it. I was hoping to find a bed so we can make it daytime. That's what I'm really after. Of course, I think the sun should be coming up shortly. But yeah, I don't see any gravel points anyway up, so I think we'll keep moving. The other spot is pretty close, about 100 meters out. And it's still falling all this stuff around. Now, there is a ton, and I mean a ton of copper right here. So this is a really safe spot on the map. If anybody's looking for a copper spot where you don't have to fight enemies, be right here, right past the Mark of Samoth. Is that a cave already dug over here? I didn't even see that. It looks like two caves. Let's take a look and see what's inside. But yeah, you can see right here there's copper on this, copper all over right here. Looks like the camellia, camellia plant. Unless that's a different kind of plant right here. Nope. Or chamomile. I don't know. My brain's not working right now. Everyone, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, tons of chamomile hill too. Plus indigo and flax right down the hill from here. So, so far this is a really looking like a really good place to set up teleport to get copper. I'm, I'm kind of happy with my current copper location that we went over earlier. So I'll just live with that for now. So this is just hollowed out. Let's look inside of this one. I don't know if I would do that in real life. You see a giant hole running around by myself and just like, yeah, let's just walk in here and see what we can find. Oh wow, they're, they're all over the place. Maybe they're messing around the, the editor on the map. Like again, tons of flax up here too. So like a good spot for copper plus all the plants you're going to need to make things with. Ooh, hazelnut. Now this gives us plus two or three strength. So if you're looking for a way to boost your strength, if you're a melee fighter, go out and find you a bunch of hazelnuts. So plus three strength for 15 minutes. Hey, plus there's already a place here to rest. <laughs> So yeah, just set your teleport next to this thing, and then on the that way you get the fire bonus from it too if you want that. Uh, I think this will give it to you anyways if you keep a campfire inside of here. Should be able to sit on this bed, just clear off the skeleton. Yep, and put your workbench in there and you can repair your tools as you work. Might even set my base over here and move it from the other salt location, or copper location, rather. Definitely more here to mine. Now then, we're still looking for the obelisk, guys. That's why I was running my mouth. We still gotta get on top of this mountain. I was hoping that one of these paths over here would lead us up to it. Oh, we do have a cave right here. Man, what is with the... <laughs> What is with this mountain? It's like nothing but caves. I know that it looks like the marker's behind us, but it, maybe at this point it is. Maybe we are high enough now. Let's look in the cave really quick too. This maybe, like my videos will keep like running over because we keep finding these random caves everywhere. What is that? Oh, bats. What's that, what's that red stuff? Bats flying around. Let's get our magic wand out. So these are level ones. They say grab our torch, make sure we're not missing any type of new material. That looks kind of different to me, this rock in here. Pretty sure it's still just rock though. Okay, so what's in the back of this place? Silver chest at the bottom. Yeah, this material looks there. Let's hit it one time see what it gives us. Hey, hey, bat. I'm trying to do it right now, son. Get out of here. Okay, where was that? Where's that spot that we're hitting? This thing right here, it does look different, so let's try it out. So far it's given us nothing. Okay, so it is stone. It's just maybe just a higher level stone. Wait, is this that one of those, this is like one of those mud walls we can't get back out of. We have double jumps, so I think we can jump back up this ledge. Oh well, let's give it a go. Worst case, this is gonna dump us somewhere. Okay, another club of defiance. A chest right here. Fireball and greater mana potions, some amber and copper ore, and, and the items you can break down here. And I think that's all that's in here. I don't, I don't see anything else. 
Unless somebody knows something I don't know, except that I don't think we can get back up that path. Maybe it's just a trap cave. If you don't have a double jump, you might not want to go down there. But either way, I didn't see anything good in there. If somebody knows something else, let me know. Of course, there's always luminescent ore. It takes forever to mine. Definitely want a better pickaxe for that. Keep walking around. We have more copper ore. <laughs> I guess this whole mountain is just a mountain of copper. We see giant mushrooms in front of us, some clay. Yep, there's the obelisk right there. And some tents around it. Go and check out these tents, then we'll make our way up the little slope. These some skeletons, stuff we can break apart. Some lore right here. Progress. Also headaches. All right, I'm going to read this on my own. You guys can pause it if you need to. New lore page, Ancients in the Flame. And from there, let's go up here and go ahead. Wait, what is this right here? Is that just a stake or something? Yeah. Something in the graphics there. Let's go ahead and activate this obelisk. Again, just pause it if you want to read it. Six new locations added to the markers. Looks like it's just giving us a warning not to mess with the stuff in the valleys. And from there, the next location to go to will be down here. We're going to head over here to these two question marks, most likely tendrils. We'll go ahead and set our waypoint. And everybody, we just made it over here to Grind Tooth Grotto. At least that's one of our waypoints. We have this other question mark too. So I'm assuming maybe there's two of the trees over here. Let's see if we can get to them. So we just followed the, the mountain and hugged it all the way down from the obelisk. And it'll lead you straight to this path. Yeah, we need to be kind of quick because we are on a timer. See, I see a tree right in front of us. If we can get to that safely, we can cut it down. The trying to see if we have any enemies around us, what the best path is. Everything in here is like level 13 to 15, so if there is a brood or something, we're gonna probably have to take it slow. Let's see. Normally these areas are guarded, so we need to be ready. It looks like we have some beetles. Level 11s. Not really not that strong. So we'll just stand over here on the far side, away from the beetle nest. Again, you can break the nest, but I just don't like taking the time to do so. You can kill them in one hit, so for me it's just... Even it's not much XP, but it's still free XP. Okay, new location charter, one marker added. Should just be this place that's cleared. And that quest down here is done. So I think we're finally getting ready to head back up here make your way through the cave entrance maybe up to this flame shrine and a time for harvest and personally i'm about tired of caves <laughs> tired of exploring caves not even gonna lie so we're gonna take a look around see if we can find any chest in here hopefully sometime soon we also find a use for all the critter parts we have because i have like a chest and a half full of them all right guys so i'm still down here with the root i see a gold shine up there on this top of this cliff face i haven't found a way up yet i, th I have an idea i think of how to get up there i mean double jump might do it from right there but i'm worried about getting back across as well granted we could probably just jump off the ledge but i did see a little bridge crossing the red here because I already tried the other side of the canyon. So we can squeeze through the rock somewhere right here. Let's see what happens. <laughs> All this for hopefully a legendary chest if it's going to lead me up there. There is a path, so maybe this was made intentionally. Like I said, usually there's a golden chest around these roots. So that's why I always look thoroughly. Yep, so we do have a golden legendary chest. We have the Riptide Shield level 11, 9 block. I don't know if that's better than our other one, unless we can upgrade it because it's legendary. Let me see, what's our current shield do for us? 10 block, level 13, so it might not be as good as our current shield, but we'll take it back with us anyways. So let's drop this dirt. Oh, that gave us lore, Gift of the Tide, so I guess it was worth getting, but it looks pretty cool though. Let's see. A shield that was washed into a grotto by the river must have belonged to a valiant hero. Let's go ahead and right click on it and do equip. So that's 35 parry, 10 block on that one. 9 block, 27. Yeah, it's not as good as... Oh, this one has poison resistance though, so that could be worth it just for the poison resist. So we might actually use the shield, especially if... Yeah, it looks a lot better too. Yeah, we'll use this one. Something to make our armor look a little bit better. And I think we can jump down from up here and be fine. If you're gliding and you need to just drop fast, just right click. So now we're going to head back. We can actually teleport from here since there's no shroud right here. Before we head back out to the cave passage, let's go ahead and talk to this guy. Craft an advanced glider. Let's see what kind of cost that's going to be for us. So gliders, advanced glider. It's going to take four pieces of linen. We only have one. A shroud sack. Oh yeah, we've got a couple of shroud sacks. Get those from those blue flowers. Some shroud wood. That's easy string, easy. So linen, we just got to figure out how to get some more linen. And we can make the crucible when we come back, I think, too now. So let's take a look. Right out the crucible, the smelter. That'll allow us to make better armor, which we might actually want to go ahead and do that now. I guess we could do that in call episode. So we need 50 bricks. 
and the one crucible that we have. Come to him, smelter, craft, and we'll just set it over here for now again. <laughs> just lining all this stuff up until we get everything built that we want to build later. Okay, so in here we can make copper bars using charcoal and copper ore. There's 20 copper ore, 20 charcoal to make 10 copper. And let's see how much the armor costs to make. I don't think he has a new... Oh, he does have the copper pickaxe. We're going to need that to mine copper with, so that'll be the first thing we make. So that's going to be shroud wood and copper bars. I think we have eight of those already, so we can probably go ahead and make that. Uh, same thing with the felling axe. It's going to be four copper, three string, and some shroud wood. Let's take a look. We currently have 13 copper. I don't think it'll get it all done, but we'll give it a try. And we have 33 copper ore, so that's not going to make much. The first thing we want to make out of all this is the pickaxe. Let's go and craft that because it's going to allow us to get more copper faster. Should have a lot more damage on it. And we have just enough to make the axe as well. It's going to leave us one bar left over. Let's go and craft one of those. And then we're going to replace our other two. We'll just go ahead and delete them since we can't salvage them. Actually, we'll save, we're going to save, we'll save at least the pickaxe in case we want, we want to just take two of them with us at a time. Now there's our new axe looking pretty good. Let's give her in the light. It's a lot nicer. And there's the pickaxe. Let's see, he's got the new sets. He's got an adventurer set. It's going to take one copper bar, one charcoal to make the helmet alone. It's going to increase critical strikes. There's also the tank set, which I'm sure gives us hit points. I'm probably going to go for the pure defense or whichever one looks better. But we're going to have to farm a little. It's not that much in copper to actually make this stuff. So we're going to have to get some of that made up. I'm sure the tank set's probably way more expensive. The 2315 on the helmet. More parry power though. Bonus physical armor points. 6130. Looks like the stats are the same. The only thing that's changing is the specialty. We have plenty of amber now that we have an amber mine. So that's easy. Uh, it's going to take linen to make this. So we can't even touch that one. Does this other one take linen? The other one takes linen too. So we can't even touch the actual body armor yet. I guess until we get linen, there's really no point in touching all this. Though we could replace our crappy looking helmet. Let me see how much can we actually build the tank helmet? Yeah, we'll actually probably let's see that's six adventure cell gives regen. Yeah, let's get a piece of charcoal. We'll go ahead and make this new helmet just because I'm tired of the one that we have. And the one we have is 18, 18, 13% backstabbing damage. So that's not gonna help us much since we're solo. Hmm? And let's equip our brand new helmet. Yeah, that looks a lot better, especially once we get the actual matching body armor to go with it. And then while we're out and about, let's go ahead and get this working for us. Then we need charcoal on here plus copper ore. He'll only make one batch, so we'll just let it run. I also made it look at see if can he make us any new swords yet? He can make shields, so he can make a valiant shield. Again, it's gonna take linen. Hero shield, let's see, it's level 13, this one's 14. And he can make a rising fighter shield for level 8, which is worse than our current shields. Let's see, one-handed weapons, nothing new for us there. So we're over here by the cave entrance, so it looks like there's a lot of stuff going on over here. Let's go ahead and blow this up and see what happens. Does any benefit from that? Looks like we have another cliff face, but we get a grapple point here. And another cave above us, maybe? Just the dead end. Then right here we have a cave as well as a path. So we'll have to figure out which way to go. Yeah, the path looks like it's going to take us into the shroud. Okay, we're at the cave entrance. New location has been charted. I wasn't going to keep going up the road, but it got dark, so we might as well come to the cave. Huh. Like it's full of spiders. There's a, another path hidden behind a spider web in here, so let's go and clear the rest of these out. Seems to be the only way to go. There is a bunch of copper in here. If you need that, it looks like a whole loot supply. Let's keep pushing forward, see if this leads. It's like an entire spider den and something glowing red across the way. army of spiders coming for us.
Okay, so you can see that the field of destruction we wrapped, <laughs> we racked around here. Let's go ahead and loot all these. I don't know if we need all these critter parts or the string, but we'll take it. Looks like there's several different ways we can go inside of this cave, so we've got to look around a bit. This bat's taking us back up. I know there's another one going down, and then we still need to go back and grab the item. And we have a bunch of bats up here at the top. And say we're right on the map now. So we're on top of this mountain, I guess, with an abandoned hunter camp. Let's go back in while it's still dark outside. All right, let's jump up here. See, we have a note on the table. Sleepless night. Two location markers added. New lore page. Quest updated crucial investigation. And lost in the shroud. We got some arrows right here, too. Eight copper arrows. Let's take some loot on the ground as well. And we have the special item acquired, the Handmade Spindle. So I bet we can now see recipe unlocked explosive powder ball net, linen at the hand spindle, so we can finally get our armor and stuff crafted. The chest down here where the spiders are hiding. I don't see anything else in here worth noting, so let's head back to the top of this place and see if there's anything outside when the sun comes up. It actually appears we're still inside the cave, so let's climb up this ladder. We have a silver chest right here. Just a shepherd's staff. And it seems like the path brought us back outside to the top of a mountain. Then the sun's back up. Let's see what we have over here. Crucial investigations right above us. Still have this stuff down below us. So we need to head to these two next, I guess, and keep pushing towards the capital. I think this video is getting pretty long, so for now we're going to head back home. Go ahead and make our next crafting item so we can get the rest of our armor, and we'll call the episode there. It looks like we don't even have to make it. It's already built. Let's go ahead and drop it down. Let's see, if we want to craft on it to make linen, we're going to need flax, so I'm glad that we have a, a whole flax. If you haven't watched the short yet, I went ahead and started a garden, and I planted a ton of flax. I did also build us a nice front porch, and I'm working on figuring out what I'm going to do with the upstairs, and I put a roof on the building too. And then this is luminescent stone, if nobody's seen that, that's what the stairs are made out of. But over here is my little garden. I'm, I was going to go over this later in another video. But we're going to get this spinning up on the flax machine. So it takes a couple days for it to grow. What you do with it when you actually get the plants themselves, you put them on the seed beds that you see I have right here. Add some water. It'll give you seedlings. And then you just plant the seedlings wherever you want. So I can show you that really quick. So here's on the seed bed right here. We have flax seedling tin. So it would take takes two water, one flax plant. And then that'll give us the ten seedlings. So then you can plant ten of those to get ten flax plants. I'm going to go set this up here, get it to cooking. Actually, we're probably not going to get the armor made today because I forget we also got to make a ton of copper for that. So I'll have to go mine that and that takes a while. But we're going to go ahead and get the linen started. So it's two linen, there's two pieces of flax per one linen. So we're making 30 right now, it looks like. So guys, we're going to call the episode there. As always, if you enjoyed this content, be sure to hit the like and subscribe button. And I'll catch you on the next one when we go back across, across to finish a few of those small quests on the way to the capital. Thanks for watching.